Our bodies are made up of trillions of cells. Oh, right. Are you serious? No, not those type of cells. Cells are the building blocks of all living things. Let's take a look at the animal cell. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like liquid that contains smaller particles called organelles. The cell membrane holds the cell together and controls what comes into and leaves the cell. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell which release energy from food. The nucleus is the control centre of the cell. Ribosomes are microscopic factories that produce proteins for growth and repair. Vacuoles contain waste and chemicals. Endoplasm in particular makes packages and transports materials and lysosomes get rid of waste in the cell. In multicellular organisms, all cells work together, but they do not do the same jobs. Because of their structure, they all have different jobs to do. Oh, can you show me some examples of specialized cells? White fat cells are used as a store of energy. It's cold out here. I'm looking out brown fat cells to produce heat for my body. Cardiac muscle cells are voluntary muscle cells found in the heart. Voluntary muscle cells. You can choose to move these muscle cells or not. An example of this is moving your tricep and bicep muscles. Involuntary muscle cells. They work without you having to think about it. An example of this is peristalsis. Nerve cells make up your brain. They carry information from your brain to other parts of your body such as muscles and back again. White blood cells are part of the immune system and help to fight infection. Red blood cells carry oxygen from your lungs to your cells. They also carry the waste, carbon dioxide, from cells back to your lungs. Not all cells are specialised. These cells are called stem cells. Stem cells are a group of cells that have not decided what specialised cell they will be yet. Once a stem cell decides, it, what specialized cell it wants to be, it needs to turn on all the right DNA to allow it to become specialized. Oh, so if a part of your body is affected by the coronavirus, then a stem cell can switch on the DNA needed to become specialized and treat a COVID-19 patient. Is that right? Ah, good question. Let's do some research. We interviewed Dr. Eleanor Glancy, postdoctoral researcher in Chromatic Biology Lab. She works in Trinity College Dublin, Department of Genetics, and this is what our class learned about stem cells. When stem cells move, they receive information from other cells to tell them when and where they need to work or help other cells. We learned that Eleanor gets stem cells from pregnant mice and see more stem cells before you're born. These are called embryonic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells can specialise themselves quicker than adult stem cells. Stem cells are special human cells that are able to develop into many other cell types. Stem cells can replicate themselves really quickly. Stem cells can't cure the coronavirus, but stem cells may be able to relieve the pain in the lungs and other symptoms. The most important advice that Eleanor gave us was to keep asking questions.